Hey everybody, it's Jessica Khalil and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, Makeup Look, is brought to you by Deck of Scarlet. They have sent me their Volume 8 Makeup Palette in collaboration with Kim Tai, which I am so excited about and I cannot wait to show you. And if you don't know, Deck of Scarlet is a makeup subscription and you can do it one of two ways. You can do the subscription or you can go on and order anything a la carte. They have beautiful foiled and matte eyeshadows that are not a part of the subscription portion of it. So you can definitely order these beautiful eyeshadows a la carte. But if you do want to do the subscription, I believe it's $29.95 every two months and you get a new palette in the mail. And once you do subscribe, you can pick where you kind of want to start off in which month or which volume of palette. So that's cool, you get to choose. So you'll get your makeup in this cute little package here. And this of course is the Dream Palette. And then this time around it came with a lip gloss and it looks super sparkly and beautiful and I cannot wait to try. So here's the palette and in the back it says a modern day fairy tale, unapologetically romantic and dreamy chic shades. Loaded with color rich pigments and over the top opulence, our latest deck is a sultry marriage of romantic berries and charismatic neutrals. Our ultra rich lip colors bloom in a kiss of pink or decadent scarlet, perfectly mirrored on the eyes with enchanted and crown. A dreamy trio of shades in satiny and matte finishes hits the skin and illuminates the eyes fairy dust highlights all over your best angles while tiara is fit for the ultimate beauty queen i think these palettes are pretty cool because they always have a separate door for the cream products which is really nice because you don't want to get the powders all mixed in the cream palette so it comes with the mirror we have a blush shade here tiara a highlight fairy dust so we have three eyeshadows on top Myth, Crown, and Enchanted. And on this side over here, we have the cream products. They have two lipsticks. We have Maiden and Kiss. So we have a nice neutral and then a nice like deep berry plum shade, which I'm excited. I normally don't wear shades this color, so it's definitely out of my comfort zone, which is a good thing because I want to see how this whole look kind of pairs together. Then of course, we have this beautiful lip gloss, and I think... This is the first time Deck of Scarlet has launched a lip gloss and it is so beautiful. It just looks so universal. I'll do a quick swatch for you guys so you can kind of see how it looks. And it has like a little like vanilla bean, maybe a slight little bit of coffee, but mainly a vanilla bean kind of scent, which I love. I, you cannot go wrong with a vanilla scent for myself. Oh, and really quick, I wanted to read Kim Tai's message. So this comes with every kind of palette package you get. And it's kind of like a little note from the YouTuber to talk about their journey and kind of why this makeup inspires them and how happy they are that you received it. So this is from Kim Tai. Hi friends, I am so thankful you have adopted my palette into your collection. My wonderful friends at Deck of Scarlet and I teamed up for the past year to make this palette that we think you will love for your every day life. We hope you love it as much as we do. All right, so if you can't tell already, my face makeup is done, my eyebrows are set, and I already primed my eyelids and then put like a nude powder over top so that they're nice and ready to go for these eyeshadows. To start off my eye look, I'm going to hop into the transition shade Myth. Of course, it can be an all over the eye shade, but for me and for right now, I'm using it as a transition shade. I'm gonna nestle this right into the crease, sweep back and forth, and then kind of buff out up towards the eyebrow and then a little bit more over the lid. This is just an easy, soft, light brown shade that is working perfectly with my skin tone. And it's blending out really nicely so far. Next, I'm picking up that same shade Myth on a smaller pencil brush. I'm going to go ahead and buff out my lower lash line on both eyes. Now to add some color into my crease and to deepen it up on the edges, I'm going to pick up this gorgeous plum shade called Crown and start buffing that in deep into the crease. Picking up a little bit more, I'm just going to pack it on the corner so that that color really stands out. Now I'm just going over Myth to kind of amplify Crown. Now I'm packing even more of Crown 
so that I fill up this whole corner area so that it looks nice and opaque. Then with light pressure, I'm just going to kind of drag it out so that we have a little bit of a point going on. And this will help with our cat eye and our liquid liner. It just kind of brings everything together. Now I'm going back into Myth and I'm kind of buffing out the lid and further blowing out the crease. Now I'm picking up a little bit more crown on this short little fluffy brush. I'm going to buff that closer in towards the lashes, the bottom lashes. Now using my finger, I'm going to pick up Enchanted, which is a beautiful rose gold type of duochrome shade. And I'm going to pat that right across the lid. Oh, that's really pretty. I love that shade. Oh, shoot. All right, so that looks really pretty. Let's go ahead and move on to highlight the inner corner and under the brow bone. And for that, I want to go into the big highlight shade, which is called Fairy Dust. This highlight is really pretty too. It definitely has like a rose gold champagne-y vibe for sure, but it's a little bit more toned down than um, the bright, you know, rose colored shadow duochrome that we did on the lid. So it really complements, really complements both um, that crown plum shade along with the rose gold. So it's a great highlight for that. Now moving on to my brow bone, I'm going to take that same highlighter and pop it on each brow bone corner. Oh yeah, that is really nice. It's like a really nice soft highlight. Definitely super glowy but not harsh. Which is nice for like that subtle brow bone highlight. Yes, I'm loving that fairy dust highlight. It looks really good. All right, so I'm gonna go off camera, do my eyeliner, mascara, and lashes, and then we'll come back to do blush, highlight, and lips. All right, guys, I got my mascara, liner, and lashes on, and I'm really loving how this look is getting pulled together. It's definitely not as bold as I like to do for an eye, but with these big dramatic lashes, it definitely takes it up a notch. These fluffy, beautiful lashes are from Rouge and Rogue, and they are in the style Lady Killer. Moving on to the blush, let's go ahead and dip into this beautiful, dusty, pale rose shade called Tiara and Rosy Up Our Cheeks. I love blush so much, so I'm so excited to see how this looks. That is a really pretty blush. Yes, I am loving this blush. I also like to put a little bit on the tip of my nose, my chin, and my forehead to kind of bring it all together. I think it makes it look a little bit flirty. Now it's time to put the highlighter fairy dust to the test. All right, let's see what this highlighter can do. Oh yeah, that's so pretty. Oh my goodness. I love, 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 love. I think this is like my dream highlight, like my dream soft highlight. It's very beautiful. Highlight? No highlight. A little bit down my nose, and then I like to put some right here on my forehead. Alright, so far I am loving how my makeup is turning out. I definitely would have never done a more of a rosy plum light eye like this, just for like natural makeup. And when I say natural, I mean like my version of like toned down makeup. Um, I would definitely wear this to like lunch or to work or out to eat or whatever during the day. So I am just totally digging it so far. Let's go ahead and do the two lip options with the lip gloss and then we'll wrap it up. Okay, for the lips, you definitely do not need lip liner and in this particular collection, they don't have a lip liner so you would just use the lipstick, but 
I'm going to use a lip product from a previous subscription box and I'm going to use the lip product which is a lipstick and a lip liner from the Meli Sanchez collaboration with Deck of Scarlet. So like I said, so as you keep getting um, the collections every other month, you definitely start to grow your collection, which is pretty cool. I'm using the pencil side of this one. Um, it's called the One Stroke Graphic Lip Crayon, and this is in the shade um, Playa. Okay, so it could be Playa, like what up Playa, or it could be Playa, like in Spanish. So I'm gonna just call it Playa. <laughs> The lining is done. Like I said, you can totally skip this step. I, for one, love to overline my lips. It's so much fun. It makes me happy. Makeup is super personal, so you can do whatever you want, and there's no rules. First, I'm dipping into the shade Kiss, and this is going to be my nude lip, which will be the first one I'm showing you. That is kind of the first lip option. I absolutely love it. This lipstick is absolutely stunning. I love it with the lip liner. I'll have to try it without, but oh my goodness, I'm digging this look. I hope you guys are too. You know, it's crazy how you can challenge yourself and say, hey, I'm going to use three eyeshadows and then one blush and one highlighter to kind of complete my look and this one lip color. And you don't have to think about it. You're not like, oh, how do I do something different or I want to go for a different look like it's already set together in one palette if you have the money to spend and you want to be surprised every other month I think it definitely is worth the money I mean I love these palettes they're so much fun to play with and definitely to get out of your comfort zone and try something new by all means do you absolutely need this no of course not but if you love makeup and you're a makeup collector or you just want to be challenged with new colors and try to complete a look with one palette with everything kind of in there and ready for you to go i mean these are high quality shadows and lip products and i mean it definitely looks like a luxury makeup look and outcome so definitely i think it's worth it but absolutely you have to try it for yourself but of course you have to weigh everything out and make sure it's the right Right thing for you. All right, I'm dying to see what the lip gloss looks over this lip. I mean, it's definitely a satin finish. It is not matte by any means, the lipstick. Now let's go ahead and pop on the lip gloss over top. This is in the shade Love Spell, and it says it's a high shine lip gloss. Oh my gosh, I can't get over this smell. It smells so yummy. This is definitely something that I can keep in my purse and literally use every single day. It's not sticky. It smells great. Yeah, it seems like a great lip gloss. You can't uh, feel the glitter in it. It's just very, very slippery with just enough. Um, it's almost like honey, like a smoother honey, not as sticky. I can't explain it, but it's... It's pretty good. I really like it. Okay, that was the first lip. Let's move on to the second one and wrap this baby up. Now let's move on to this berry toned plumish shade here. It is called Maiden. And again, it's not something I would normally wear. So I am so intrigued to find out um, how it is going to look on my lips with this wig, with this makeup, and the whole shebang shebang. So let's just get it popping and see what you guys think. I'm not sure if I am living for this color yet, but let's go ahead and finish the lip and see how it all comes together. All right, so this is the shade Maiden. It is a beautiful plum berry shade. It's actually just more of a berry pinky shade and it's definitely different. I'm looking at my monitor and it actually, I think it looks pretty. And although it is not a shade, I have ever worn i really don't think like out like as an everyday color um i think it's pretty i think it's different i feel like this is like totally like 
I don't know, like a corporate office lip. That's what I'm gonna call it. But I do love the nude combination with that lip gloss. Mm, that is so pretty. I love that lip, but I'm glad that this got me out of my comfort zone to try something else. And yeah, this is the second lip color. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want any information on Deck of Scarlet, I have the link down in the description box below. It's $29.95 for each kind of palette or collection, and you get them every other month. You can also go on to deckofscarlet.com and check out everything they have. They have lots of a la carte options, like I said, the beautiful foiled shadows, and also their matte singles. They're just to die for. I really like the brand. I love the fact that it reaches out to YouTube YouTubers and you know makeup influencers and kind of uses their um, experience and passion to kind of curate these awesome collections and palettes so thank you so much to Deck of Scarlet for letting me try your amazing makeup congratulations to Kim Tai what a beautiful collaboration I'm so happy for you that is so awesome I love to support my fellow youtubers and as always do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you liked this video I do lots of glam beauty makeup, but I also do kind of face painty character makeup too if you kind of want to see that. I am planning on doing a couple looks like that in the near future. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell because nowadays that is the only way you will get an alert when I post a new video. I'm also on social media. Check me out on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter, here of course on YouTube and just keep it real. Keep it within the Jesse Squad family and until the next video, lots of love and hugs from my home to yours.